I guess it's time to get up. It's uh, 8.20. Wolfie came over stretching all over me. I let him off and he's gone now. So I'm sure he'll come back as soon as I start cooking food. You looking for some food? Come here. Come on. bush plane a couple times this morning. There it is again. Sit. Good. Wait. Eighty-three grams this morning. Eighty-three grams for wolf this morning. <laughs> hey, if you knock my camera over, sit. Wait. Oh, food driven wolf. That's a full bowl of breakfast, okay, buddy? Leave it. Oh, man. Are you excited for this? Are you really, really, really hungry? <laughs> That's a hearty amount of food, buddy. You know, I could honestly eat this if I needed to. It smells pumpkin-y. Sit. Wait. Okay. Well, I'm not sure, but this is hard to believe. I believe I smell smoke in the air. And check the sun out. Remind you, this is early May. Okay, ice was just on the lakes last week. Look at the sun. See the haze? These aren't clouds, this is haze. The reflection of the sun in the water looks just like it did in Woodland Caribou. We were in that forest fire. I don't know, I don't know what to think. This is early May. It's weird. It started out sunny and then it feels overcast, but there's no clouds. Like. There's a couple little tiny white ones. I don't know. I just heard a float plane take off from the next lake over, which that's weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Now I can crisp it up a bit, maybe. I don't know, that oil looks a little wet in there, but we'll see. Maybe that was some of the water from the bottom of the pot. That looks much better than it did. And I believe I can fry it up and, and dry it up. Fry it, the old fry and dry. That's what I want. I don't want soggy eggs, you know, I want the soggy eggs with the squeaky cheese crunch when you eat it. Cheese curd squeeze. I want fry and dry. And Wolf is like, I'll take whatever's left. 
I'm for you, big guy. There's onions in it. Yum. Cheers. I hope this is way better. Mm. It is. Mm. It tastes almost like a wood at home. Got it. The ham is perfect. I'll give you a piece of egg. How about that? Here. There you are. You've had plenty now. You've had plenty. All right, I don't know what's going on, man. There's supposed to be sun this whole time. It looks like it's so, that forest fire type of sky. It's chilly because there's no heat coming from the sun, even though it's full sun. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna eat this up, go paddle around and try and get to a different lake and go explore over there and uh, see if there's any fish and see if we can't find any cool spots to camp maybe for next time. Yeah, no question, there's something up. That is not normal. 9.30 in the morning, looks like dusk. It is time to start going. Uh, we're gonna go paddle down this lake to another portage over and try to explore. And it's probably about 10 o'clock now, if I'm not mistaken. 9.50. So that was a nice relaxed morning. Wolfie's just been chilling out here. He hasn't even gone to try to go, uh, go anywhere really. So I have been cooking. <laughs> Probably has something to do with it. I'm gonna grab a few necessities, throw them in my fanny pack, and leave my backpack here. Just I don't know what the portage is like, and uh, my body's a little sore, and I don't need much. So I'm not gonna have a fish fry over there. If I catch a fish, I'll just fillet it and bring it back with me, and uh, no big deal. I don't even have to keep it if I don't want to. We shall see. I know you don't like that. You gotta wear it. You gotta have something on you. Makes you look like a, a pet, not a wild animal. I put a rock back there for counterbalance because I don't have that little backpack or the little weight of my backpack. Because last night when I went out for a nighttime paddle with them, with no uh, backpack, um, it was plowing in the front. So I just ne do need a little bit of counterweight in the back. The rock is probably not the best idea just because it's got some jagged edges and stuff. I placed it in there as gingerly as I could quite gingerly but what I will do from now on is to bring a dry bag a 30 liter dry bag or something and I'll be able to fill it with water and put it back there when he's not or sorry when I don't have a backpack and I have him so it'll counteract or counterbalance him and that will be the method I use from now on I just uh it's first real trip with him first real canoe trip with wolf I've been trolling, coming to a little narrows here. We're gonna have to pull up the line and uh, navigate through some river stuff or some stream stuff. I haven't been this way before ever. What's that? Hey, what's that thing? Is that beaver lodge? That snow? Man, it's quiet. Smells like that castor oil. That castor oil. Come on. Come on. Are you peeing? Are you peeing? <laughs> oh, pee break? I know how it is. I know how it is, believe me. Good dog. Good dog.
Good boy. Up, 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 up. Come on. Yep. Good boy. Good dog. No, I'm caught. Okay, bye. 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 I'm going this way. slower today moving a little slower today well we've been paddling for a bit and he's getting he's being a good boy but I can tell he wants to stretch his legs again I'm gonna pull up to a small little island let him run around on it while I just wait for him in the canoe then we will both get what we want just wait no okay good boy all right we found it it's not as well used as the other ones but we found it we're gonna go we're gonna do it You want me to come get you over there or what? Mm hmm. At another beaver dam. now not too much trouble getting into here and it's a beautiful lake it looks to be some nice spots to camp I'm gonna paddle up to one of these spots right now that looks kind of flat ish I'm trolling we're gonna go stop and uh, just chill out for a little while I really wish I would have brought some food because it was it made me hungry getting here so if I catch a fish maybe I'll bushcraft cook it up over a fire here because I got no no tools or nothing but I don't know I haven't had any bites so I had a couple bites last night got nothing in really only the one fish but I would much rather have a quality one good brook trout at least a day than a couple smaller nothings but that was a, a real nice fish oh there he is I just saw you hear him heard a hawk and then he took off. Wolf's watching him. All right. Well, I think I might see an old remnants of a fire, fire pit here. And that would make sense. Yeah, it is. That would make sense because this is a good spot. This spot's okay. It's riddled with like human use. I imagine this spot gets seen uh, by snowmobilers in the wintertime. Because there's just lots of sign of that. Like, nobody's cutting that stuff with a, a buck saw, right? You got a chainsaw in here. But anyway, we'll keep on our way. 
I think I might go portage into the next lake. It's a real big portage, but something to do and uh, burn our energy off, our energy. Try and fish some more. That was the whole point of today, right? Just explore, fish, burn energy, spend time with the dog. That's all. That's all. back it's one o'clock uh, I found that portage it was just more work than I wanted to do just to come back so we're gonna go make our way back through a series of lakes and portages back camp eat some lunch and then I don't know I don't know what I'll do after that I might potentially go back to that other trody lake tonight uh, for sundown we'll see back at camp had some lunch we're both feeling a little tired so nap time it is very comfortable out. I'm super happy with Wolf. It's been about an hour. <clears throat> He's not tied up. The leash is here. He looks pretty content to me. Well, I'd like to. I'd like to catch another trout or two before we leave tomorrow. This lake doesn't seem to be very productive. Um, I might hop back over where I cut that trout yesterday. It's a paddle and a kilometer portage each way. But if I don't bring much gear, it might not be that big of a deal. It would be nice to get there for s and like have like the fishing sunset type thing there. But if that's the case, I won't be eating it unless I bring my cooking stuff. With this backpack, I can't single carry, even if it's a light, uh, I have a hard time single carrying if it's a, if it's a light load. It just pushes the front of the, end of the canoe down. It doesn't ride as good as my red one. I don't know why, it never has. So it's hard even if the the bag doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't mean, the, the amount of gear I bring doesn't matter in that. So I prefer not to bring a backpack, but we shall see. Anyways, this is my thoughts and my wild hair. You see the gray? Alright, well, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. And uh, I will let you bring with me either way. Freaking champ, just chilling, eh? What a good boy. All right, welcome to my bedroom. It's messy, just like home. <laughs> um, I need to charge up my GoPro, so 
I can bring it with me to film when I go over into the other lake. So I am gonna eat, eat supper and only bring my fanny pack. So that means no nothing. Just fishing gear, just the bare, bare necessities. Then I will carry, single carry, the canoe by itself, no backpack at all, one fishing rod, and just boot over. It'll probably take me like an hour to get there, and then spend however long there, like I said, and then come back. So I got a little charger somewhere here. There we go. This one's from Otterbox. And it's charging, sweet. So, I'll leave that for about an hour. It's 4.40. I'll probably leave here yeah, around 6. Be there for 7. Stay till 8.30. Then be done the portage by... Be back here in the dark. Be back here by around 9. Well, now I'm awake. Wow. Just waiting for my food to rehydrate. I'd like to put another rock on the back end of that fire pit. The wind is blowing it quite a bit this way. Well, let's start with this at least. Get a couple more back there, build it up some more. Supper's done. Chicken dumplings, which is basically homemade chicken, like soupy stew with dumplings in it, super good. Shredded chicken, uh, carrots, potatoes, I mean not potatoes, peas, you know, like chicken stew would be. Anyway, I'm excited to eat that. This wind, it keeps picking up and dying right off. Next time, salt and pepper. This was such a last minute, I didn't plan this. Such a last minute thing. Like I said, I went home and grabbed just like, I already had a bag pack, I just grabbed a little bit more gear, some different gear on the dog and left. Very unprepared for this. Um, mm. Speaking of which, I spoke to Will on the sat phone. Seems like their flu is all over, so that's good, bonus. Happy to hear that. Anyway. I need to bring salt and pepper for stuff like this. This kind of stuff loses a bit of flavor in the freeze dryer, whereas like fruits, candies and things like that um, intensify in flavor, which is crazy. But I've noticed that and Tosh was saying the same thing. Hi, he's already eaten. I fed him a full meal. Gonna be getting to be time to go. We'll scarf this down. I'm in much need of it. I just ate a small sandwich when we got back. I'm almost out of food. I thought, to be honest, I thought I would catch a little bit more trout than I did. More than one. But I'm totally cool with it. She was a beauty, and uh, maybe we'll get another one tonight. Cleaned everything up uh, over by the fire. I'm done eating. I'm gonna get ready to go now. Well, that's weird. Uh, I'm gonna only.
normally bring the essentials. Like I said, I got my, pardon me, I've got my fishing tackle over there. It can fit in my fantastic fanny pack. And here I got my headlamp. I'll throw my water filter in there. Um, yeah, and whatever else I need. I will bring my puffy and I'll tie it around my waist. And that way if I get chilly on the way back, I can just throw it on. I've got my, ooh, I should bring that. Yeah, I got my uh, inReach. Earlier when I said I talked to well on the sat phone, I think I said sat phone, I meant to say inReach. But anyways, I'll bring the inReach as well. So it's getting full in here. I guess I could put some stuff in my pockets of this too. Up. Oh, you're sore, eh? You're tired, buddy. Once I reached the portage, it only took me 20 minutes, roughly 20 minutes to get down it. So I know that for going back for light time, time that I have of light left. Words, and they mean things. So as soon as I came down to the water here from the portage, I saw a huge splash about 20 feet out. I don't know if it was a fish or a beaver, either way, I'm gonna go cast my line in right quick. The black flies are hatching. Look it. Oh, here they come. Oh no, Wolfie, leave it. No, I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to the camera, homie. What a nice night. I'm glad we came over here. Oh, don't rock the boat, Wolfie. Rock the boat. Oh, yeah, man. There's bugs. There's bugs out. Wolfie, there's bugs. We're on to one. Hit decent. I don't think it feels as big as yesterday's. But you know, they can't all be freaking hippos. Freaking hippos. Whoa! <laughs> I watched that one run. Lake trout. Sit, buddy. Good boy. You gotta stay, bud. There's a big fish. I might need to take him to land to land him. Stay, wolf. Oh, this is a big brook trout. Wolfie, stay. This is a big brookie. Look at the size of this thing. Holy crap. That's maybe a personal best. Okay, we're going to let this guy go. Oh, I thought that was a lake trout. That would have been a huge lake trout for, for me, for this freaking back small lake. <laughs> Well, that panned off. Pan, pan, panned out. And Wolf's like, whoa, what the? Why did we, uh? <laughs> High five. Boop. Oh, that might have been a personal best. That was slick. I would have loved to keep him out of the boat and take more pictures and stuff, but I'm not trying to hurt him by any means. So that was cool. 
Dun, dun, dun. Can you see them? I sure hope so. Oh my goodness. That is wild. Can you see them? They're everywhere. There's a billion. They're everywhere. I guess camping without consequences is almost over. <laughs> well, sure I'm glad I got, I brought this. The sun's dropping and so is the temperature. Oh, not much action after that chunker, but I'm still really enjoying the time out here. So I'm gonna stick around for a little bit more. Or I head back to camp for the night. What do you say? You can go to bed, it's okay. Go to sleep. Have a little nap. Good boy. Those beavers motoring. Motoring. Bunch of prize for fly. Do, 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 Wait. Okay. <laughs> Moving slow. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, oh no. Well, that was worth it. Possibly the biggest brook shot I've ever caught in my life. So I'm happy about that. Fire's out completely. So I'm pretty surprised. The fire's out completely, and I'm pretty surprised at that. I made up some uh, petroleum cotton balls. They're actually cotton swabs from Will. But anyway, it works. You rip them up, works just the same. I just don't want to mess around. There's no birch bark on this uh, little island peninsula thing I'm on, so. Um, this is quicker and easier. It's already 9.15. Since we threw back the fish we caught, Mr. Wolf, and you were perplexed by that, I'm gonna give you a little, one last snack for tonight. Oh, you're such a good boy. There you are, buddy. Good boy. And for me, I'm so excited. I'm so very excited. I have fruit loops with milk. Freeze dried milk and fruit loops. All I have to do is add cold water. I'm so excited to have this, I forgot I had it. Not for you. I gave him like three other pieces of fish that you guys didn't see. But so much supper. And lunch and breakfast. More food than he gets at home, but he is working a lot, running around. He's plum tucker. You can see. He's almost like a different dog now. He's a good boy. He knows when to get in the canoe. Oh, yeah, he's kissy kissy. Conditional. Conditional was the word I tried to think of yesterday. His love is conditional on food. It's not. I'm just joking around. But that's the word I was trying to think of.
came to sleep here when he noticed I was coming to bed. There's the foot of my bed. He came to sleep here, so that's pretty cool. It wasn't all that long ago that he was staying like 20 feet away from me at all times when we were outside, so making progress, and that was part of what this trip was all about. So I'm really happy for that. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm excited to sleep. morning it's just after seven I slept good Wolfie slept at the foot of my bed the whole night and then about six o'clock came stretching on top of me and I took his tie off his uh, leash off so that he could go to the bathroom or whatever and not poke my sleeping pad and he just went right there curled up and laid down so Mission successful on this trip with Mr. Wolf. Mission successful with a lot of things, actually. I had a great time. This is one of my favorite trips. It's a good way to start the year. After that, a couple of little small trips with Tosh. First trip solo with Wolfie. So huge trout, man. <coughs> and uh, the family is all better. So I'm going home to get prepared for my next trip. Edit this video, see my family for a little bit. I have a couple things planned, but I also like to leave a lot of my time open because I like to do last minute trips. I don't, I don't even like to make doctor's appointments or like plan for anything during the summer because I love to do canoe tripping so much and things always come up last minute. I want to be able to go do them. So this is my time of year, period. Uh, I'm on a canoe trip. And do other things. This wasn't even a canoe trip, you know what I mean? This was us coming in base camp, like a backcountry wilderness base camp for three nights with my dog. You know what I mean? Got to explore the area, got to fish, got to hike, got to portage, got to see new spots, got to plan for next time, got to read my book, journal, film for you guys, film for myself, spend so much time with this dog and really get him understanding that like he can go run around but, like, he needs to come back, too. You know what I mean? When I whistle. And it seems to be working. There was only one time this trip where I had to wait for him for about 10 minutes. And he was on the smell of something. So it's like, you know, he's 1 o'clock. He, he's 1 years old. He's a husky. He's 1 o'clock. He's 1 year old. He's a husky. Um, and this is his first year of canoe tripping. So, like, he's doing swimmingly. I'm super, super, super happy. If I didn't say that yet. So all there is now to do is to pack down and uh, eat some breakfast and get out of here. I really like this Norten Extreme Bivouac. I think it might be called the Bivouac Extreme, actually. Um, you could see yesterday when the bugs started coming out, this wouldn't have cut it by itself in another week. But again, I have the inner... It's a whole tent, like just a screen with the bathtub floor that, that clips all in here. And you can still set this tarp up like an A-frame the way I have it now. Completely up in the front like a baker's tent. Probably like five or six different configurations. The whole thing can be up in the air. You don't have to have any pitch down to the ground. I have a huge like parachute type thing. But uh, anyways, I will be using this again this year in bug season, I'm sure. Gone off somewhere exploring. <coughs> I 
I'm a good boy. So he's been sitting over there for quite some while, quite a while. I'm gonna go get the food off the tree and see what happens. I didn't say a word. <laughs> That's a good boy. You know what the deal is, eh, big boy? You know what time it is? You? you know what time it is, you, eh? What's that? What are you thinking? 87 grams this morning for you? Good boy. That's it. Camp is packed up. The spot does not look level at all, but I was able to find one little small trench to stay very comfortable and flat for two nights here and the first night on the inside was or on the, on the beginning was pretty good too first night on the inside anyway I got a dose of fire and we're gonna get out of here it's probably gonna take me half a day to get out of here it's eight now I don't expect to be out until one or two but uh, it'll be a good day to get out and it's nice burn his energy he can sleep on the way home so hope you guys really enjoyed this video um I, I i had such an amazing time this is one of the best trips i've had in a long time thanks for watching